Welcome back to another segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons. Uh, with the holidays just around the corner, I am very excited to announce that my new Christmas CD is now ready and available. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the behind the scenes of this and uh, let you know how you can get your copy. I spent a number of days in the recording studio in the summer. <laughs> like June, July, uh, which was really kind of fun to be getting into the holiday spirit so early in the year. And in fact, the recording studio was really cute and they put up a little Christmas tree to set the mood for the recording of these classic holiday songs. Uh, these are songs that I have loved forever and have sung since I was a little kid, listened to on the radio growing up. My mom sang these songs. So they've just been something that has been synonymous to me with the holidays forever. So I, when I was looking to put together a Christmas CD, this is something I have wanted to do forever. I love the holidays when Christmas music starts playing on the radio. I start listening to it and that's usually starting to happen earlier and earlier, but certainly in November, that used to be, it didn't start till after Thanksgiving, but now even earlier. Uh, and it just kind of puts me in a festive mood and I love starting to see all of the decorations come up around town and in stores and just that, I mean, people might feel a little harried and a little pressured to get all the Christmas stuff happening, but for me, there's just a special magic to this time of year. So finally during COVID, because I thought, well, there's so many things I can't do, but there's things I can do. So I thought this was the perfect time to finally do this uh, album that I have always wanted to do. It's called Home for Christmas, because Christmas makes me think of home in so many different ways. Family, uh, the Waltons, uh, we did a number of Christmas episodes on the Waltons. Of course, the homecoming started it all. So for me, Christmas will always be synonymous with the homecoming, which was a Christmas story. And then we did the spirit episode. We did the best Christmas. Um, and we celebrated at work as well. We always had a cast and crew Christmas party and we would... Um, we would be on one of the sound stages and they would arrange to decorate and put a tree there and there'd be gifts and uh, you know, shopping for all of the cast and crew was something that I took a lot of joy in. So this CD is now going to be available hard copies uh, on my website, judynorton.com. So if you want a hard copy of it, a physical copy, which I will personally sign, to you or whoever you want it to. Um, and a shameless pitch here, they also make great stocking stuffers. <laughs> so I hope that you um, either would like a copy for yourself or you know someone or several someones who might enjoy it as a stocking stuffer. If you are someone who doesn't want a physical copy but would like a digital copy, it will be available digitally, the individual songs, the whole album, through all the various different digital platforms like Amazon and Apple Music and Spotify, a lot of different platforms like that. It's in the process right now of being uploaded onto all of those. So check around. Um, and I do hope that this is something that you will enjoy listening to as much as I enjoy doing it. While I was in the studio, I thought it would be fun to record a little bit of the behind the scenes. Now, there's always, as I've talked about, this issue with public domain. Virtually all the songs on my CD are not in the public domain, so I have gone through the whole licensing process for the CD. Um, and so when I was trying to think of something I could show you from the studio, uh, I chose the one song that was in the public domain and thought I would give you a little sneak peek of me in the studio recording Jingle Bells. snow in a one-horse open sleigh o'er the fields we go laughing all the way bells on bobtail ring making spirits bright what fun it is to ride and sing in a sleigh song tonight oh jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way oh what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh hey 
Besides Jingle Bells, other songs on this album include Let It Snow, White Christmas from my favorite Christmas movie, White Christmas, um, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas uh, from another one of my favorite movies, Meet Me in St. Louis. Of course, the song was introduced uh, when Judy Garland sang it to Margaret O'Brien in that movie. It may have existed before that movie, but that was the first time I became familiar with the song. And then there's also some songs, like the Waltons had done a Christmas CD at one point, the Waltons, you know, together again, and John Walmsley produced that CD. And some of the songs that I loved from that, I also decided to do on my own CD, and that includes Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, sleigh ride, um, and there might be one or two others. So as we move into this holiday season, um, share with me in the comments some of your favorite holiday traditions. I mean, mine are watching Christmas movies, and of course, that also includes It's a Wonderful Life, which of course, Ellen Corby and Beulah Bondi were in, and I get asked about that a lot. Uh, and it's such a thrill for me to watch that show and see Ellen and how adorable she was. And she talked about um, the scene with the money and that uh, there were some unexpected things that the director did that were sort of ad-libbed to just create some surprises there. And she, she talked about that and, and uh, how it kept the scene live and, and brought about some some just fun, spontaneous moments while she was filming that. I didn't have an opportunity to talk to Beulah Bondi about the movie. I, I don't think I even thought about it when Beulah Bondi was guesting in uh, the conflict and um, the uh, pony cart, but it's such an honor to have been able to work with both of those Hollywood legends. I'm kind of a traditionalist when it comes to the holidays. I I have all my favorite foods I like to cook or eat, and who knows, maybe I'll get adventurous and go back in the kitchen at some point during the holidays and, and do a holiday in the kitchen. Uh, sometimes I bake, sometimes I cook. Uh, it's one of the only times when I do, perhaps do more baking than usual. So maybe we'll have some of that as well. And next time I will share with you a little sort of Walton 50th reunion thing that's happening very soon on the West Coast. So please do tune in next time for news about um, some gathering of quite a number of the cast members. That's what I have for you for this segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons uh, about my new Christmas CD that I wanted to share with all of you. Um, and again, if you'd like a copy for yourself, hard copy, go to my website, judynorton.com. If you'd like a digital copy, take a look on the various different streaming platforms. I will be back with more behind the scenes of the Waltons and more Ask Judy. Thanks for watching.